The last time we had a bald president was Dwight D. Eisenhower, 63 years ago. Now that's a long time. But is America ready to make bald beautiful? Is it hair that makes a president? We decided to take the top off some of the presidents of the past and some of today's top contenders to see if a head of hair makes you a better head of state. Apparently, American voters only vote for candidates that have this physical feature in common. Well, um, first thing that comes to mind would be uh, the male physique, <laughs> male anatomy. Obviously, it, it has to do with male anatomy. Maybe a smile so they can take more people to follow them. Afro? <laughs> <laughs> or is it really a balding issue? Balding issue. Are they all not bald? Okay, maybe the hair. The hair. How did you know that? Well, a full head of hair. Bingo! Oh, you got the right one. So should hair be the only question on the ballot for 2016? Isn't that George oh, Bush bald? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> it looks like he came uh, from the war in Iraq. That man works for Goldman Sachs right there. Would you vote for this man? Does he look trustworthy to you? It's George Bush, so no. <laughs> <laughs> so not based on his hair, just no? Yeah, no. It's, it's the eyes. You put all the hair on his head and you want, I wouldn't vote for him. <laughs> no. Recognize this guy or? No. Jeez, a black tie? That's, uh, that's what you want to see at a power lunch. I would vote for Ronald Reagan bald. And maybe because he's like good looking in the photo or something. Yeah. Definitely yeah. Um, is that John Looks like Kennedy? I think like he like this, he seems more wise. Kind of reminds me of Breaking Bad. Oh, of course. He looks like like Daddy Warbucks and Annie. He's looking good. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Clinton. Uh-uh, you need your hair. No hair. What the hell? No beard. No eyebrows. Actually, he does have eyebrows, but they're blonde. <laughs> he looks ill. Yes, I'd vote for him. That's Clinton. Yeah, I'd vote for him, bald-headed or not bald. It looks like a sex symbol, not a president. This is why they're not being elected. Oh, <laughs> well, actually, that's a lot better than, than the, the, the horror that he presents with whatever that is on his head. Yeah, he looks better without hair. I think his, his hair is quite ugly, so maybe if he show off his eyebrows too, maybe it could work. I can almost look at him like he's like a detective, not really a president, or some like uh, someone you got, you know, someone you hire. <laughs> like a hitman? Do you like his hair? I, listen, I, I love Donald Trump's hair <laughs> because it's so bizarre, right? No, that's way. that's everything we didn't have so far. Female, she bold. Mel? I would not want to see that on TV, uh-uh. Men, you could be followed all day long, but women, it's all of a sudden you're sick. Excellent yeah. point. A more modern statement than uh, her her $500 uh, quaff. <laughs> oh, I would say that that is entirely radical, and she probably had, like, you know, big, totally um, weird leftist offshoots, given that she shaved her head. I would bowl her like this but better than with her. I would not. No, I wouldn't. Because of the look or because of who she is? I mean, I want to say because of, of who she is, but certainly that picture is jarring. I would say at the beginning they probably have a full head of hair, but not by the end. Post Nixon and Kennedy, there's been a lot of, just the TV has been such a huge central sort of point. We've already had a black president, and it looks like we might have a female president, and it, it is time to have a bald president in the United States.